Hey everyone, it's Alexandra. Hope you're having a great day. So today's video is honoring your essence pace and finding your natural rhythm. And as usual, I have some ideas that I want to share and we'll just kind of see where this flows. But the idea of your essence pace is like when you feel best, when, what pace of life and rhythms do you feel the best? And I really love this because I, I started to think about this like 20 years ago. When I was in college, I played college division one volleyball and it was intense. We were ranked like 16th at our best year, 16th in the country. Um, and I had a full load of classes and I just remember feeling more stressed about the pace of life then. And um, it just, I remember going to a park a lot to kind of like decompress and I would take my, my journal and I would take a blanket and I would take Dan Millman, was super into Dan Millman and Marion Williamson and Wayne Dyer and would just be out in nature as often as I could. Just kind of like, you know, um, <laughs> I guess the Ralph Waldo Emerson quote comes to mind is adopting the pace of nature. Um, her secret is patience, but adopting the pace of nature. Like I just felt attuned there and connected to myself. So that kind of started my journey of like knowing my essence pace, but I used to feel really bad about it. I used to be like, why could I not? Like everybody else just seems like they're fine with how fast everything goes and being super busy. And I just didn't really thrive in that environment. I did well and I was successful, but I, my my um, stress and just kind of my inner well-being didn't feel as great. So you know, fast forward 10 years, I hear kind of about this honoring your essence pace and it really resonates for me. And instead of it being a weakness, I then turned it into, it's one of my strength, strength, strengths. So I think this is really good. And I think it's important for people who have a slower essence pace than the modern world. And there'll be some people who are watching this and be like, what is she talking about? There'll be some that will be like, oh, I kind of understand. And then there'll be some that are like, I totally know what she's talking about that. I have felt like that my whole life. Um, and if you're that person, I just want to let you know you're not alone and um, it is a strength and it is a gift to the world. So this is really, video is just really checking in to see what pace you're going at life, with life. And um, did I share this quote? I don't know if I just shared this quote or not. Um, the quote by Gandhi that's there's more to life than increasing its speed and I just agree with that I think that I'm so grateful for technology it's amazing we have an online company all these things but I'm not just sold that that increasing the speed of our life is really where we're going to find happiness and joy so I think um, just checking in with this and then being able to create your own rules and your own boundaries of how you create your sacred natural rhythm and honor that and celebrate it, not as a weakness, but as a strength. So those are, that's kind of my ideas on that. And as I said before, the Emerson quote, adopting the pace of, pace of nature. I really have been thinking about that since we moved to the country and um, we're just outside more and I get to feel the natural rhythms and I'm waking up most mornings at like sunrise with my daughter and we're taking these walks. The other morning we went for a walk and a barefoot walk and was going at her, adopting her pace. And we were just cutting some flowers and some plants she wanted to put into a vase. And I just had this moment of, wow. I mean, imagine if everybody started their day out on a sunrise walk. There's just, it's majestic. It is healing and miraculous and it connects us to something bigger and most of the time we don't have time to exercise or to go for a walk because we're so busy doing other things. And I just think a lot of times we have it backwards. Like I think we really need to look at what we're doing in our life, the pace that we're going, and is it nourishing us? And if it is, awesome. But if it's not, and I think for so many people it's not, to really like have a hard no. I'm not going to tolerate that in my life and I'm going to create these sacred boundaries for the things that really nourish me. And the things that really nourish us, I mean, if you write it down and get clear, for me, it's so simple, like moving, being outside, being with my family, like these are all easy, simple joys that create the most meaning for me. Doing a simple video like this, like I just, I love this. Um, I love just writing. There's just so many things that don't require um, a lot of, 
um, consumerism, I guess I would say. <laughs> consumerism. Um, not that there's anything wrong with buying and having your needs met in abundance and all of that, but it's just, I think sometimes we get in the habit of chasing things um, that aren't going to make us happy and to really make a list of the things that do make you happy and the times that you feel alive, what are you doing and what is the pace of those? And then seeing how you can align your life more to your natural essence pace and um, yeah, honoring it and celebrating it. So those are my ideas. Um, what else? I'm gonna look at my head notes over here. Um, yeah, I think that I was just the other thing that I was gonna share is a Krishna, Krishna Murdy quote that I've shared so many times, which it's no, um, no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And as Gandhi said, there's more to life than increasing its speed. I think the more that we look at how society is operating, um, you know, what is it? Mark Twain, when you find yourself on the side of majority or something, <laughs> go the other way. I don't know, something like that. Um, but I think that's just, it's true. Like, I think we really want to look at society and is it healthy and should we be modeling it? And I think not so much. And especially if you have a slower essence pace and you feel better um, being more attuned to the natural rhythms of, um, of nature. Uh, her secret is patience. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson, for that wise wisdom. So, and I think a lot of us are lacking patience these days, too. It's a very impulsive, impatient, it's just especially with the technology. So, these are just some thoughts I'm contemplating today. Um, I'm hoping that it's helpful for you to maybe navigate your journey maybe a little more easily and have a little bit more um, power and strength with it. And um, yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> all right, more coming soon. I'm sending you lots of love and um, blessings. Mwah!